Hey everybody, it's the Hey Poopy Podcast. What that booty do from poop to pleasure to health. Hosted by me, Ellen. And me, Dave. Two curious people removing the stigma from your stinker. And why do we do this? Because we love laughing, learning all about butts and helping helping them be the best they can be. And on today's episode, we had the one, the only, the amazing anal queen, Avery Jane, on the show. OMG. I love this girl. I have photographed her and hung out with her, but I did not really realize the things she was going to bring on to this show stuff that we've never even heard before oh yeah in the 198 episodes yeah you'll hear things like this so we finally get to towards the end the second part of the scene the boys are peeing in my butt and i'm like Listen, it's been hours since I've cleaned out, so I don't know what to expect. Good luck. <laughs> and you sure that you, y'all don't want to, like, switch us and, and they pee in her butt? And they're just like, no, your butt. I'm like, God. all right. So she goes and puts her cute little mouth right there by my butthole. And while I fucking go wee and let out all of this pee, <laughs> one nice little perfectly round turd. <laughs> Flies directly into her mouth. <laughs> and she is I so hope they have it on slow motion. <laughs> she's so in it, you guys. She's just so into the scene, into the moment that she doesn't even realize what <laughs> Yeah, um, as you could tell, we this was like one of the funniest things. Ellen was dying when she dying, heard dying, crying. My face was bright red and tears were pouring down my face. Yeah, this, every, yeah, she was amazing. Like, there's, I mean, you can't not like this episode. <laughs> and Dave was a fan before, and now oh, yeah. he's even more of a fan. I'm like an Uber fan now. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and would you like to be an Uber fan of ours? Well, you can yeah. check us out at uh, www.heypoopypodcast.com and you can find out all about us, the things we do, and what the show's about. So check it out. And on to the shit show. Hey, Poopy, how you doing? Hey, Poopy, how you doing? I'm a, no, I'm just, you know, trying to find a place with like-minded people to talk about like-minded things about me, about poop and stuff. Hey, Poopy, how you doing? What's this right here? Is this, this a podcast about poop? Everybody, we are back to the poop show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. It's the Hey Poopy podcast with... Dave. And Ellen. And this is episode 199. One away from 200. Yeah, we're so close. <laughs> it's always going to be number two to us, our very favorite number. I can't believe 200. Oof. Where has the time gone? Uh, but anyway, we have an amazing guest today that I've been trying to get a hold of for the podcast for a while, but she's a very, very, very busy lady. And I am so excited to have the anal queen here, Avery Jane. Woo. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> And Avery, before we go into what you do, we'd like to know, did you poop this morning? How are you feeling? I feel great. I, I did have my morning poop. I'm feeling healthy, feeling good. Nice, good. nice, nice. And do you poop every day? Do you know what it is on Bristol stool chart? I don't. I mean, I poop oh. every day, but I don't. There's a chart. Yeah, we sent it in the email. It's either like little tiny nuggets or diarrhea or long and smooth or like a, a turd with cracks in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's so funny. I love this. Yeah, no, mine are usually like nice, nice, pretty long put together ones. Unless I'm super dehydrated, then they come out little bloop, bloop, bloops. Yeah. But I, I've been hydrating a lot more these days, so I good. Yeah, it's been it's been an objective. Like, get healthy. I've been on a health kick lately. I'm in the gym. I'm having like regular healthy poops, which it hasn't always been the case. I uh, I'm a dehydrated bitch, so oh, I have been. She was. She no longer is. Good. Nice. So you're having like, like you're having the perfect poops. Ahead, Dave. I was saying you have yeah. the perfect poops, which is great. That's what we want. <laughs> And Dave, what about you? How have you been pooping? Not that great today. I've, gone, I've only gone twice today. I've gone twice or once. I can't remember. I got up really early to do a bunch of errands today. So I had a day off. But I, this was a long weekend. 
was the Mermaid Parade here in New York City, in Brooklyn. Then I went to a barbecue the same day. Then I went to the beach yesterday all day. So not the best food. So let's make the best poops, the best shitting. So yeah, it's pretty bad. Then last this morning was pretty bad. It's, it's not. It's not great. <laughs> there was a lot of re- remnants <laughs> in the bowls. They say. Yeah. Thank God today is also a holiday. Yes. Happy so Juneteenth, we can everybody. Get over, yeah. Happy. Yeah. And so everybody gets that extra day to get over the weekend foods. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of that. How was yours, Ellen? I also went to the Mermaid Parade on Saturday, woke up super early, drank a half a bottle of Prosecco before I even got to the parade Nice, because uh, I was with some party animals. And uh, I surprisingly, I think that helped dehydrate me. So I only had to pee once when I got to the parade, which was really nice. And I was chugging water. And then I took a little bit of mushrooms because why not? And I... Then I had to come home, pack up all my stuff, head down to New Jersey for an art opening I was in. And I stayed out till one in the morning with friends, eating some very, very salty French fries and drinking wine. And the next day I made one of the most disgusting poos I think I've ever made in my entire life. Like (laughs) it was just explosive and so much which was probably a combination of everything horrible because the day of the mermaid parade i just snacked all day i did not eat a proper meal it was like and and even because i was late to the art show it was just like snack here snack a little bite here a little bite there and i was i'm the kind of person that when i flush i i'll look at my poo first and i'll be like that's disgusting then i put the lid down and then i flush because you know the poo particles like come up so then like an hour after i made this horrific horror movie shit, i went to go pee and i lifted up the lid and there was still so much left in the bowl Ugh. like skid marks because it was just pure evil that and i was like oh my god oh my thank god i'm alone like if anybody was over here they'd be like horrified at the mess that was left behind and it and i was like i've never seen that bad in my life and so then i peed flushed and it was still all marked up where i had to like clean the bowl Yep. Because it was so bad. I was like, oh my, whatever was in my body just like was like viscous and sticky to the bowl. Disgusting. Ugh. Absolutely disgusting. All those bubbles. Those yeah. Bubbles. yeah. It yeah. was awful. Just pure evil. So then today was one of those days where I also like every 30 minutes had to poo. I think I pooed four times before wow. 2 p.m. It was like, the minute I woke up, had to poo. I had some coffee, had to poo. Like walked around the house for a second, had to poo. And I was like, oh my God, thank God for bidets because it's just like, you know, it never stops. Yeah, I love my bidet. Like I don't know what I'd do without it. Like I definitely need it. This weekend I needed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of cleanup. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, it's been a messy situation. And even when I was heading to the Mermaid Parade, I was hanging out with Autumn. She's been on the podcast before. And we met up and I told her, I was like, I'm planning on leaving my house at this time. And then I texted her and I was like, I'm waiting to make sure poo happens at home and not in the porta potties at the parade. I am just like, so I was like about 10 minutes late to meeting her just to make sure that the poo left the body before an epic, epic day. Yeah, yeah. You got to do that. Yes. You don't want to shit your pants while you're walking, marching no. in a parade. <laughs> well, well, there's that one guy who always walks with Bambi who wears a diaper, and I'm slightly jealous of him. <laughs> well, you could do it next year. No. <laughs> I'm just slightly jealous. Slightly. The actual oh, okay. act of doing it in the hot heat yeah. while trying to be cute You've, seems completely It's like impossible. giving up on life if you wear a diaper. <laughs> In a parade. The, I don't know if you've seen the guy, Dave, but he literally, it's just him with sneakers and a diaper uh, on. I don't know. I probably did, but just put it out of my head. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> He's there every oh, year. Right. And Bambi knows him. She's like, oh, yeah, it's so-and-so. <laughs> oh, makes sense. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, Avery, now that we have checked in, we'd like to know what you do besides your poo. <laughs> I, uh, well, besides pushing poop out my butt, I <laughs> am in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am an adult performer, a porn star. 
I specialize in hardcore anal gangbangs. Yes. Um, yeah. So that, that's what I do. And I make my own content as well, do my own websites, you know, building my own brand in the process. Nice. I have to say a little tidbit about this. When Ellen told me you were going to be on the show, I was super excited. But Ellen mentioned to me like a long time ago, she used to get on Twitter. I wasn't on Twitter at the time. I forgot when this was. It was a while ago. And then I go on Twitter. I'm just like, I'm like, I don't know how to use this thing. And I'm going through. And then you pop up. You were like the first. I didn't, I didn't know who you were at the time. And then I'm like, who's this? And I, was, I was going through. I'm like, oh, my God. Your algorithm. <laughs> like, yeah. No. Like, you were like one of the first follows I that went on because I was like, it was just hilarious. I'm just, I've, I've, I've never felt so old. I'm just going through Twitter. I'm like, how does this work? How do I find people on this thing? I just kind of just randomly going through, and it's just like, people you might want to follow. <laughs> <laughs> and yours popped up. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, who's this? <laughs> the algorithm knew. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, was like, exactly. okay, we think you know this guy. <laughs> Avery and I met through her publicist, Erica, and I photographed her back in November. And I remember when we were doing the shoot, she was like, can you please get my asshole? Because my <laughs> asshole is like, like my known part. And I was like, yeah, sure. And she's like spreading her butt cheeks open so I can see your <laughs> butthole. And I'm like, you know, th this is the one of the few times that both of my passions totally merged together. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, by the way, BTW. But talk, yeah. But we'll talk and sexy lady pictures oh all colliding. That's so funny. And so I was like, you gotta be on the podcast. You and your yeah. famous freaking butthole. Thanks for having us. Of course. <laughs> I was excited. I was like, what? She said, I'm like, who's going to the show? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, awesome. This is great. <laughs> and I recently saw Avery on Dave, the TV show. And the stripper scene, oh, really? which I was so, I was in the airport leaving LA like two months ago and I've been, I was binging the first couple episodes of Dave and I turn it on and I'm in the airport, like with headphones on, but all of a sudden there's like tits on my <laughs> iPad and I'm like, I look like a fucking pervert. Like, yeah. it's okay that I am a pervert. I just don't need to be a pervert in front of strangers and quote unquote public, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, I was like, fuck. And so, the, but I don't know. I was like, wait, I think I know that lady. I think I know those boobies. <laughs> I know those breasts. You're like, actually. <laughs> but I had to start it over again when I got home. And I was like, oh my God, I do know those boobies in that face. You're like everywhere. It's amazing. Yeah. I try to be. I try to be. I, you know, I'm like, listen, we're yeah. going around. Y'all going to get tired of seeing me. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Agreed. But yeah, that was super fun. I think that was like what season three, episode three, something like that. Is the very yeah. first scene with a uh, with Rick Ross and uh, oh my yeah, god, I gotta watch fun. that. There's some other porny ladies in there. I like ran into some friends there. We're like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> there was a little porn soiree and we got to you know bounce some titties on TV with <laughs> with Rick and little Dicky. He was cute. Yeah, I love that show. It's so funny. And and for the audience, if you ever see a naked lady in a TV show or movie that's not a famous, famous actor, it's usually a porn performer. They're professional naked people. They're really good at it. They don't have a problem with it. So exactly. They pull a lot of us for a lot of those roles because, you know, we do this professionally. Most of us are super, super comfortable with, you know, doing a lot more than just walking around. Yeah, yeah. You're like, this is uh, easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the agency I was with at the time, they actually said they staffed a lot of the naked ladies on FX. I think they did a <laughs> so anarchy too, which I was like, oh, God cool. damn it. I missed my chance because I yeah. love the anarchy. Yeah, that was a good show. Like, Same. My chance to be a crow eater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a good show. So Avery, do you want to go into some of your fabulous stories that you teased us with in the email? Oh my God. Yeah. I have stories galore. Yeah, you yes. do. <laughs> I don't know what to yes, start you do. with. <laughs> I guess we can start from the beginning, which was before porn, back when I was still working. Well, I was going to say back when I was working like regular jobs, but I guess this still wasn't a regular job. I So I used to work at a sex shop. 
it was my first sex. I've worked at a few. So this was my very first one. It's one in LA. It was, you know, like a smaller store, but they still like, they're around. They get nominated for like avians and stuff for like best boutique. But I used to work for this sex shop. And basically the way they had the shift set up was there was only one of us working at a time. Um, a lot of times, you know, the owner would go home. He would still peep in on the cameras and make sure we were okay. And, you know, he's a phone call away and he was on it. But we, we usually have one person in the store at a time. Which is not great for any situation. Like, what if you get yeah. sick or you have to get something to eat? You know, like there should be two people there. Or if you accidentally shit your pants on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then there's an emergency situation because you're just by yourself. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mini dress that day to work too. <gasps> oh, Everything was stacked against me that day. I was wearing like this cute little mini dress. I'll never forget the dress. <laughs> I, I, it was trauma, okay? I still have the little, like, slip cover thingy I was wearing over my mini dress. It was blue with flowers on it. And I, I guess I was, like, violently ill that day. Like, something was wrong. And I, I guess that was the most violently ill I've ever been in my life. Because, I don't know, I was just sitting on the stool behind the counter like luckily no one was in it was kind of later in the evening maybe like 10 maybe like 9 or 10 at night no one was really in and i was like sitting there and you ever have the feeling that you have to fart yeah but yes. it's not a fart yep. it's a yes fart. okay so i thought i had just you know i was like oh my tummy she's grumbling she's not happy right now i'm feeling not the best and so I thought I was going to let out a cute little dainty fart. And instead I shat myself completely <laughs> like liquid oh. shat. I'm just, just right then and there. I was <laughs> like, I've made a huge mistake. Um, <laughs> oh and so you were sitting on the stool. So you got it all over the stool. Oh, I'm just like a waterfall. Also, funny enough. It was, okay. So I guess it wasn't liquid like water. It was, it was liquid like a thick soup. <laughs> oh, you know, it was still it was a thick yeah. soup, so it managed to kind of sit there and pool <sighs> in stress. Oh, it was the stool liquid. like fabric or solid or? It was. It was. I guess like solid. It was. It was fabric, but it wasn't like a cotton. I, oh, okay. I guess it was a thick fabric. I don't know. Is that like polyester or what? You know, it's like a full leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah a leather stool oh. so you know i'm sitting there now covered in my own shit with no help in that moment. yeah what to do because oh, there's no backup i'm the only one in the store and so thankfully i like i was thinking quick on my feet and i remembered that i had like a shirt and a pair of pants in my car oh. across the street in the parking lot okay so this like became mission impossible where i fucking wrote on a piece of paper like be back in 15 and i like you know grabbed my dress by the front <laughs> i just tried to hold it in and i like waddled my way to the door and taped up this sign locked the doors when i tell you i fucking i'm also in my mind thinking like if my boss is watching on the camera like, <laughs> what is happening right now <laughs> so i'm fucking <laughs> run out through the back door, run like through the back lot to the parking lot across the street, grab these clothes, like run back to the store, hurry and change in the bathroom, still praying that this man doesn't call me to be like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you <know? laughs> so I'm like in the bathroom trying to fucking like clean off. I honestly think I probably stole some baby wipes, not stole, but I probably like took baby wipes from the store and was like, I'm going to have to like, Oh yeah. You know, like buy this or like leave a note or I'm, I don't know what I did, but I remember I had to like clean off somehow. So I took like the baby wipes that we sold. God bless. They were there. I know. Honestly, because I... they do like the pH balance, like sexy time <laughs> wipes for when you're yeah, going to yeah. get it. All. So I like grabbed some of those and uh, like cleaned up in the bathroom, changed into these like pants that I had. And then I had to like do the walk of shame and go pick up like, the, you know, clean up the poop that's still on the stool. Oh. But when I tell you I managed to accomplish this, I want to say it was maybe like in 15 minutes from shit, from shit to clean up was maybe a 15 minute like 
dash and run and wipe and let you know like clean very up. efficient oh yeah i had to i think i like wrapped the clothes in paper towels in the bathroom i was like i'm gonna have to like come back at some point like toss these in the trunk of my car when i leave <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and then I just, you know, clean clean that seat up and, you know, sprayed a little spritzy spray for the smell and then just went, unlocked the door and it was just back to business like nothing happened. And and how long was your shift left to go? I think we probably closed. Was it around 11, 11 or 12? So it was close to the end. OK, I so you had like an hour or more. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, it was just. There we go. It was like good to go. Like it never happened. And uh, to this day, I've never, I never talked about it with him. I like never mentioned it to any of the other employees. I, I don't think I've, I don't even know if I've ever told that story. Ooh, an exclusive. <laughs> an exclusive. I was going to ask, weren't you employee it. of the month after that? Like your efficiency of cleaning up the mess. <laughs> Oh my God. I thought you were going to say when you, you, re, you forget, you were going to use instead of like the pants, like I was going to grab some like edible underwear or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> some fundies. That would have been even hilarious. Those, like, those, More those, hilarious. those double underwears. <laughs> I would have had to. I would have had to like, yeah. <laughs> I would have had to like taken a stripper outfit or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I could have just stayed in the dress. Like I needed something, you know, or the other option was to like, Call my boss and say, hey, I'm sorry. I just got sick and shat myself. <laughs> I have to go home and close the store early. Like, I don't know. I, yeah. he, he was, he was Were like, there sales after that? Like, was it so important that you did stay for that extra hour? You know, I don't even remember. I don't remember. But he was a very, you know, on it boss. He was he was a very like oh. every gotcha counted so part of the reason why i started doing porn in the first place was because i've worked for you know a lot of employees that are very much like this is my store this is my money i own you between this time to this time like Ugh. yeah, yeah. I, I was living in fear of like i don't know what his response like the response could have been too bad sit there in your shit for the next hour yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it would have been, you know? Nobody or, wants to go to a sex store with a smelling like shit. That, that's what I'm saying. I, I was like, yeah. I, couldn't have, I couldn't have done it. But the, I don't know. For some reason, the fear of like godly employer was in me to where I was like, yeah. I have to make work and like stay on the clock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. I've done weird things out of em like employer fear of like. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, oh my god! My well, god. kudos to you. That's a pretty awesome. Like from <laughs> shit to clean up. That's I would have been like, this is a nightmare. This is gonna take me like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, it was like a moment. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I the wheels were turning, and I was like, no, okay, we're gonna make it work. Like, oh my god! I mean, that makes me want to hire you because you're a problem solver at like the drop of a. Yeah, poo. you did not oh, yeah. panic. <laughs> you went to action. <laughs> You're an action-based employee. Yeah, I would have been like, "I'm good." If you fire me, I don't even care. I have to go home. This, is the, I, I would have. That would have been so insane. <laughs> I don't know. Employee of the month in my book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, it's like too. What other option did I have than to go back in the store and clean up? Because was I supposed to sit in my car covered? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. No. It was just, yeah, it was a whole thing, but we made it work. Made it work. <laughs> this is why on this show we always say never trust a fart. Yeah. Never. Oh my God. I've been scared to fart ever since, and that was like <laughs> six, seven years ago. Yeah. I'm so to this day. Like, <laughs> every time I fart now, I check, like, every yeah. time. It'll stab yeah, you in the check. back. It'll stab you in the yeah. back every time. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. And how long ago was that? Maybe like six. Six, seven, maybe like six years ago. Let me see. Actually, I can. I was about twenty. Oh wow! I guess more like eight years ago. Oh wow! Yeah, about eight years ago. Yeah. No so you were young. Oh, I would be. Are you kidding me? Eight years ago. That's like that, was, that must, might as well have been like last week. Like if, when that kind of disaster happening. <laughs> yeah, you'll never forget 20, it. Twenty-one years old at the time. Oh. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, you were a baby. Yeah, it's like an imprint. It's just like in your brain forever. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all. I could tell, I, I, I'm pretty sure I was wearing my hair the same it is right now. I could tell you like exactly what I was wearing. Yeah, yeah. 
I was wearing like never forget. You're like it was 80 degrees, a light breeze out of the southwest. <laughs> then I shit my pants. <laughs> it was nice and warm outside. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> And Avery, what do you do to help prep for a scene? Ooh, so for scenes, we can't have any poop, so we have to get rid of all the poop. So I I have my own little regimen. When I'm in a pinch, uh, I will do the, the fleet enemas. Uh, I like the big ones, obviously. They make like, you know, like nor- kind of smaller ones, but then I get these big, like, I forget what the size is, but they're big ones. I just ordered some, actually. They're in a box right behind me. I have, like, <laughs> it's, like, all over the house at this point. There's butt stuff everywhere. Nobody can, we don't record the video of the Zoom, but, like, you are, you, you can see both Dave and I's places, but you've literally blurred out and Zoom the rest of your place. And I'm now, like, oh, my God, I feel like if she took off the, the blur, we're going to just see fleet. ass, like, yeah, enemas with assholes and yeah, butt yeah. stuff, butt plugs, just, like, everything. Everywhere. There's like a fleet banner behind you, like sponsored by. If mom comes to visit, I'm just like, oh, fuck. like you know, she's sitting <laughs> on the couch, and I look, and I'm just like slowly like putting the pillow over like the dildos. And yeah. like, my mom did not notice that poor woman. Oh, that's like, so funny. <laughs> you know. Or, and she'd be like, oh, what are the? I'm just like, nothing, nothing. Like, don't look, don't look at the giant, super sized box of like enemas that I have a subscription for. They come <laughs> once a month. Like, don't look at it. <laughs> but uh, usually for prep, so I used to do the fleet enemas and I'll do those when I'm in a pinch. I don't have anything else. I honestly used to keep one in my purse when I'd go out and about because you never know. I've done emergency enemas in like a bar bathroom before when I get, when I get my ass fucked. So. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. But Some people that. carry condoms on them. You carry enemas. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be like a Girl Scout. Be, pre- be prepared. Uh, but, you know, I, I so I dump out the enema liquid because that's saline. It's a, sa- a saline solution in the fleet enemas. And too much of that's actually going to, like, really hurt your stomach. And it's a diuretic, so it's really just going to make you shit out liquid for hours if you use that. So I always dump that out and just do warm water. And so I'll just kind of keep doing that until I've cleaned out. But over the past year or so, I started using a shower enema, which, yeah, at first I fucking hated it, but it's changed my life. I love my shower enema now. It's my best friend. I think I have two or three of them now. Yeah, I have two for each bathrooms and then my travel one. Nice. Yeah. How do you hook up the travel one? Oh, you just unscrew the, oh. the shower head and then you screw that in. And then usually there, there's a, a, you know, like a, the tunnel thing. So you can screw in the shower enema and then put the hose back on. And then there's like a switch you flip to where if you uh. want either the shower head or if you want it coming out the enema. So when you go into a hotel and you like look at the shower, you're like, this will work or this will not work. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's like one of the first things I do is scope out the bathroom situation. <laughs> yeah. kind of, Cause I'm very picky about bathrooms. Like, you know, I need to have the toilet next to the sink in case I am doing a bottle enema. That way I can just easily fill it with water from the sink as many times as I need. I hate having to run across a bathroom. Oh yeah. Yeah. That would suck. Bathroom. Yeah, so I always, like, anytime I look for, like, hotel rooms, Airbnbs, like, it, that's a thing. I look for bathrooms like that if I, like, have an option and a choice. And so, yeah, the shower enema, that one's just, like, I don't know. You're basically giving yourself, like, a colonic. Like, you're fucking cleaning out everything with the shower enema because it's so much pressure. And, you know, I mean, some people do it lighter. But for me, I'm, like, if I'm doing a deep clean, if I'm doing something that's going to require me to do like intense anal, I want everything out of me. I want it flushed out my intestines. I don't know, you know, how deep we're going today. I don't know if someone's going to like pee in my butt today, which that's going to make poop come out. So like, you know, I want to, and I do that a lot uh, enough to mention that out loud. Wait, so it's st- rewind. Yeah. When was the first time you got peed in your butt and did poop come out because you weren't sure? Like, how do you know that pee in the butt is going to make poop come out? I can't remember the f- first time, honestly. Uh, There's been so many. It's all a blur. <laughs> so many. I'm trying to think, was it during a scene or was it 
like just for funsies i really can't remember well i'm boring (laughs) 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 sorry for funsies that's that's amazing i think it's amazing wow yeah pretty much all the weird stuff i do in my porn is stuff that i've been doing in my personal sex life like i have a really weird sex life when i am having sex like you know i like again like i carry like enemas in my purse and so i'll clean out my ass and then i have like butt plugs that are like hollow tubes and i'll bring that with me in my purse and like ask guys like you want to pee my butt like i could put this tube plug in and gape it open if you want to like just pee in there and most guys are you know they're kind of like what but they're they they still do it oh, of course <laughs> what guys say no to that yeah, you say like, no to that over. Um, yeah, I, I can't imagine so, any man saying no to that <laughs> like what uh <laughs> that's not do you me. have a certain sensation when somebody pees in your butt like yeah i mean it kind of feels like you're getting an enema because depending on how much they're peeing like you can start to feel it like feel fill you up like i'll kind of feel it in my tummy like it feels gnarly like it, it's like just warm a warm you know in a, going in you yeah and, and that's why you maybe or have pooped while they've done it yeah i also read somewhere too that urine is like a diuretic that there's oh. a urine hmm. that i guess will kind of like flush you out but there you I go do- ellen <laughs> there, ellen gets there, back yeah, there sometimes the, <laughs> it's like a pee in a yeah now we figured out how to cure my exactly. constipation. <laughs> just pee in, in my ma- butthole, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of discovered that as a thing when I started shooting in Europe because usually I never have any accidents. I'm pretty, pretty good. I've only had like maybe two, two to three accidents in my entire career outside of these pee scenes that we do in Europe. Cause there it's gang bangs where all the guys are peeing in your butt. You know, it's like back to back. One guy pees, the next guy pees. You're getting like three, four, five, six, seven guys peeing in your butt. And, so- and you can hold it all? Or is it just gush back out as they're peeing? So I usually can hold like one in. And then once he stops, then I'll push it out. For a while, they were having me like push it out into a cup and then like drinking it. But then it started to get poop in it. And I was just like, <gasps> I'm not drinking it anymore. This is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just like, you guys, like you, it's becoming a thing. Every time they pee in my butt, a poop comes out. I don't want to drink it anymore. One time it was in the cup and I was like about to drink it and I saw in my peripheral mm. that there was a poop. <laughs> and I just like did the after magic where I like, you know, opened my mouth and just poured it on my chest. But then there was a poop on my shoulder for the, <laughs> you know, and so now everyone thinks I'm like a poop performer. Like the, the little poop guys are in the in the forums like, yeah, you know, there was a poop there and the poop here. And she almost drank the poop. And I'm like, listen, it's all like, only in Europe. You're like, yeah, yeah. Only in Europe. All in Europe. <laughs> do not ask me yeah. about stuff like i'm not gonna do it you're like you're missing the whole point of this video number one <laughs> that was like that was like a one-off weird thing that happened this just, just relax <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. it's just you know it just it became a thing where i was like i don't like so you know unless it's like i haven't eaten for two days and do a deep clean like twice oh like i the, the pee in the butt just it's always gonna make me poop yeah uh, and you know sometimes they also like if we're shooting with two girls at a time so if it's like two girls with the guys they'll like have the guys poop in a butt and then we push it out into the other girl's mouth and i had an accident one time with one of the girls so at that point i was like y'all stop stop do, we're not doing do tell <laughs> no, I'm that is crazy is this oh, a, wait, this I, a, wait sorry was this in europe too yeah this is oh weird. yeah of course. I'm sorry i'm gonna ask that question <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, is pissy even allowed in, in American porn? It's frowned upon because of obscenity laws, which are yeah. so vague that most people won't produce it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know shit and blood are illegal. Yeah. But I didn't with, know if pissing is. With piss, I'm not sure if it's necessarily illegal. I know none of the mainstream companies produce it. That's more so just people who make content. Gotcha. Yeah. But in Europe, that's like a big thing there. Like you can go on their European sites and their site literally is divided by like P video versus not P video. All my videos will be on piss vids and then they will take the P sections out and put the rest of it on anal vids, which is the same exact videos as piss vids. Just piss vids is the P version. Wow. Uh, this is wild. You know? 
Yeah. It's so like it, it's like making a porn for porn's sake and then editing out the sex for like Skinamax, you know? Like Yeah. 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 It's I love so, it. I've even started doing the same with my content. Anytime I have like pee anything, I make a dry version and a wet version. One gets put up <laughs> everywhere. Like one gets put up, you know, for OnlyFans because you can't do pee there. But I have more sites where I'm like, ooh, if you want the naughty, extra naughty pee pee version, nice. like go to this. Like, I like um, dry wet. That's uh, a. <laughs> also, I'm yeah. just trying to picture like you guys with some guy like, hey, you want to pee in my butt? And this dude instantly starts chugging like a hundred gallon drill of water. <laughs> he's just. <laughs> yes. Yeah, anybody ever gotten pee shy? Like he goes to pee in your butt, but he's pee shy and can't do it. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, I've had a few guys that like start out kind of pee shy, where they're like, oh, you know, no, oh, it's not. And so I'm just like, look, just. Just relax and you know, maybe I'll, I'm like, what do you need from me? Do you want me to look at you? Do you want me to not make eye contact? Like, what do you need? But usually most guys know, like, come prepared, bring your water. Like, I even bring electrolyte packets usually with me now. <laughs> I'll be like, here, drink a couple of these. Like, as we're getting started while we're doing paperwork, like, just drink a couple of these. Go pee once so you can like clear out your piss because the more of the electrolyte stuff you're drinking, the more your pee is going to come out like clear, tasty, yeah. like nice, good, healthy pee. So, you know, I make sure people are prepared because I'm, I'm going to ask for I don't know why I really like pee stuff. I know this is a poopy podcast. No, but- no, no. no I, I mean, I, I'm just asking because I shoot piss scenes for Taboo magazine and and it's mostly just girls peeing in vessels. And and there are some girls who are like, like Sky was like, I wish I could, but I'm too pee shy on camera. I can't do it. But then Kiara did it. Two people that are Avery just hung out with at a signing that they were at. So she, I know you know them. And but yeah, so like I have done it, but some girls can do it and some girls can't. And I've seen guys even be like, I'm pee shy. I can't pee. So that's why I'm curious. Nice. I've, I've basically like trained myself at this point and taught myself how to like pee squirt on command when I need to for scenes, just because like, you know, if they book you for a squirt scene, you have to be able to squirt yeah. in Europe. Pee scenes, not only are, you know, people peeing on us, but like they'll have us do pee stuff too. Like, so I'm like, I kind of had to learn how to, how to just be able to pee when I need to for, yeah. for scenes. You're an athlete um, is what you are. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like that stuff. Level. Like, yeah. I mean, like there's, I mean, I never, I never thought about like just not being able to pee, but I mean, I guess, you know, I'd rise to the Michael case. Michael Phelps if, has nothing on this. Oh, no. Yeah. Water sport athlete. You should have, you should have tons of gold medals at this point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One time I did a, a four girl squirt scene where they literally were like, okay, so here's your like script for the intro to set the scene up. After that, we need 25 minutes of you girls squirting. <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember you minutes. telling me about it when I shot with you back in November and I forgot the other performers, but you guys just sound like you had the best time in the entire world. It was so fun. It was it was a blast. Like I, I had a great time. Uh, I could tell a couple of the other girls were having a great time. One of the girls was like, oh, I didn't realize it was going to be like a squirt scene like this. Like, I don't really do this, but I'm here today. Like, so I guess we'll do it. And she did wonderfully. Like, she did amazing, you know, but I was having a fucking blast. Like, it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Which I think is really funny that American porn doesn't like piss, but there are porn performers. I'm not saying all of them that when they squirt, it is piss. (laughs) Right, right. Sometimes it is. It, it really, really depends. It, so you have to it, remarket it. Exactly. It's funny. During that scene, too, we were squirting so, so hard that uh, somebody did actually let out one little poop. Um, <laughs> there was one little poop on the floor from somebody. And, you know, I'm like, at this point, everyone's just so used to poop. It was like, you know, we finished out that part of the scene. They call cut. We're kind of just like sitting there all soaked in square, like on the floor, just like waiting Amazing. for instructions. We're like, oh, wait, guys, like we just got to pick that up real quick. Like. Can someone, we're here, like, on the floor and squirt. Can one of the crew just come? That's amazing. Take this turd away. Yes. Yeah. You're like, like oh. wipers? <laughs> <laughs> so chill. We're just, like, sitting there waiting. They come scoop up the turd. And cool. and <laughs> I'm going to continue. <laughs> you were also saying that when you do the guys pissing in your asshole, then you, some girls drink it away from your butthole and vice versa. And you said something happened? Yeah. So, okay. 
out in Europe, I'm like, I don't know how much of this I should tell. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> right? I'm like, how much? We could easily much? edit this. And so if you're like, hey, cut that out, let me know. It's easy to take out. Okay, cool. Yeah, because this feel, isn't live. Feel free. Do not feel, there's no, you're not obligated. Don't feel like you pressure or anything like that. Whatever you feel you're comfortable with. Go ahead. Yeah, you don't have to talk about it. But I did. It was I funny. Mean, I was talking to my mother before this, and she's like, "Oh, you're recording the podcast. Can I listen to it live?" I was like, "Nope, nope. You don't want to listen to this one. Yeah, you definitely nope. don't want to listen to this one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe." I'm a story. I just won't name names, but I will tell the story because it was hilarious, uh, questionable. It was one of the more questionable scenes of my entire career, but it happened. So. Okay, in Europe, everything's different. It's not like here in America. Here in America, you know, everything's very, like, above board. We have strict, like, laws around things, strict legal rules. Like, for the most part, everyone's paying attention and following the rules. In Europe, it's kind of sort of more like a little free-for-all. Like, it gets wild there. So, there, you know, a lot of people are privy to have a drink or two before the scene during the scene sometimes like whatever whatever and inform dave and the audience how drinking is not allowed in american scenes yeah drinking is not allowed we do yeah. like strict like paperwork and video sign in oh shit and yeah or, yeah i'm not under the influence of any yeah, yeah. drugs or alcohol you know i'm sober i'm here on my own accord stuff like that but when you're saying you have a drink here and there in europe like i think the audience needs to know like that just does not happen in the, the states oh, okay. right yeah. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. Like again, it's it's a completely different world in Europe. Right. Like shit that there is like the norm here. Like, and I tell them all the time. I make jokes with all the people in Europe too. I'm like, listen, if we did this in America, straight to jail. I'm like straight to jail. <laughs> straight to jail. Yeah. But here, you know, it's different, and you kind of have to go there knowing what you're getting yourself into. Like knowing the culture there is just very, very different. You know, I'll be telling them all the time. I'm like, if y'all were here in the States, you'd all be me too. Like, you can't act like this. But when you go there, they're like, ah, oh, you know, they're just very European. Yeah. So what do you mean? They beautiful girls. They just want to like, you know, like, I think the first time I got there, like, you know, a boy kind of walked in. He was like, he walked out of a scene, like dick straight out hard, walked out, saw me. was like, oh, wow. And he comes up to me and starts like touching on me and like kissing on me. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, and this is my first time in Europe ever. My first time out of the country. And I'm just like, ooh, like sexy European boy. Like, what's your name? But I explained to them, like, you can't do that to all the American girls. Like, yeah, yeah. You, consent culture isn't, it's different there. While gotcha. they do, like, recognize consent, just culturally, they're much more, you know, mm -hmm. affected and, and sexual openly, I feel, there. Yeah, and they tried to do Me Too in Italy, and, and the Italians were like, Sexual harassment, that's every day for us. <laughs> what is that? Like, what's what's that word again? <laughs> yeah, they were like, that doesn't work here. Yeah, so, you know, it's it, it's, it's like I give or take where, you know, they if you tell them, like, I don't like that, stop, they'll be like, oh, okay, you're right. But if you're into it, like, I, I'm into it. I'm like, look at all the cute boys, like, you know, and then when I'm not in the mood, they know when right. I'm not. Now, I've built a rapport with people there. But anyways, one day we were shooting a scene. <laughs> Okay, so we were shooting a scene, and I was shooting a scene with <laughs> one of the girls, and I guess she had a little too much to drink beforehand. So we start shooting this gangbang. Mind you, this is a two-part scene. Sometimes we do two-part gangbangs, where we do one scene with, like, you know, two boys, four boys, something like that. Mm -hmm. We do a full-on scene with the pee and everything, and then we take a break and we do the second part where they bring in more boys. So it's basically like two for one. You're getting two gangbangs in one day. Damn. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a long day already in and of itself. Yeah. You know. So we get started with the first part and we kind of sort of quickly realize that this girl is just like Plastered. I, I'm just gonna say it. she was fucking plastered. This girl, she was fucking trash. Cause she was she was just chugging before the scene, and uh, it got even funny. So you know we're all getting frustrated because she's just like not listening to direction. She's not doing what she needs to do. We're like, what the fuck? I was like, should she be like doing this scene? Because again, in America that would never fly. So I was like, should we be? You know? And the director's like, yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. It's just you know, boys, put her where she needs to be. Like. Get in doggy position. He's like, get in doggy, face down, ass up, like do it. And so like, and then to make it even funnier, her husband was one of the male performers in the gangbang. So the entire time her husband is even like, 
what are you doing? Like, why would you do this before work? We can't get there one day to work. Oh my God. And I'm in the corner, like, ooh, like mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I become such a child when like any type of altercations happen. I'm straight up like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So he's here, like, fighting with her. She's taking forever and, like, not paying attention and, like, just not doing what we're supposed to be doing. They were like, listen, this isn't an issue. This is her all the time. Like, I'm just like, Jesus. yeah, so I was like, okay, cool, like, whatever. But it took us forever to get through that first scene. And finally, hours later, hours later, they're like, all right, time for the second part. And I'm like, listen, it's been hours. It's been hours since I cleaned out. I'm weak. I need to eat. I'm about yeah pass out like i don't have much more in me and they're like okay we're gonna just try to like get through the second part blow through it like get going you're gonna bang it out yeah they're like we're gonna (laughs) bang this little like we banged out the last six hours we've been here or whatever oh that's a long day already a lot of activity a lot of activity it was ridiculous so we finally get to like towards the end the second part of the scene the boys are pooping in no why not pooping wow the boys are peeing in my butt you know we're doing we're getting to the pee part they're peeing in my butt and you know i'm like listen it's been hours since i've cleaned out so like i i don't know what to expect good luck <laughs> and they're you know i'm like you sure that you, y'all don't want to like switch us and then they like, pee in her butt and they're just like no your butt I'm like God. All right, so she goes and puts her cute little mouth right there by my butthole, and while I fucking go wee and let out all of this pee, one (laughs) nice little perfectly round turd (laughs) flies directly into her mouth. She is I so hope they have it on slow motion. <laughs> she's so in it, you guys. She's just so into the scene, into the moment that she doesn't even realize what <gasps> happened. So she's still there, starts gargling the pee for performance. Oh, oh my God. Here's the director. Just, and I, I'm looking at all the boys, too. Like I'm looking at the boys' faces, and they're just in horror. <laughs> uh, you know, they're like, what the fuck? She's gargling my third pee. I oh, probably don't pee. know what my face is looking like at that point. And the director's like, spit out. Mm. And she slowly... <laughs> slowly just closes her mouth and goes and like spits it out oh. no urgency it was the slowest little <laughs> you know a part of me wanted to be like girl you've done you did this before but it, you know like, yeah <laughs> you're too comfortable she was yeah, way too comfortable i was gonna say, I was literally say that <laughs> like, oh this <laughs> actually like zooms in on my butthole with the camera so i can be like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck this scene is gonna look like. Like the boys were like, we don't even want to watch this. Like to this day, I've never acknowledged that scene again. Like I, I won't yeah. look at it. I don't want to watch. I think I watched like the first like twenty seconds of the trailer and was like, I don't want to watch any more of this. Like I, I don't. I just don't want to relive that yeah. scenario. It's so deeply ingrained in my memory, I don't need to see it. Again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. That is unbelievable, man. (laughs) (laughs) I'm literally crying. (laughs) Crazy there. Jesus Christ, that is nuts. That is so funny. She's like, oh, it's like a milk dud. (laughs) That's brilliant. (laughs) Jesus Christ. That is like She's like, so are we going drinking after this? So we go. She definitely has done that. Yeah, she's way too comfortable. I would agree. <laughs> her husband, I'm like, you gonna kiss her after I done shat in her mouth? Like, <laughs> He's like, we do this all the time. <laughs> we do this every weekend. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Because like, even earlier, so earlier before the scene, it was like that day, Ash... As she was like getting toasty upstairs, I, I remember like walking into one of the rooms and the dude was like laying on the bed and she's like there drinking from the bottle of vodka. And so like I hop Jesus. in the bed, I'm like snuggling with him and I'm like, you want to fuck? And he's like, that's my wife. And I was like, no, you're fucking with me. 
And she like turns around. She's like, no, like that's my husband. And he's like, yeah, no, we're married. And I'm just like, oh, and I like slowly just like get off the bed <laughs> and like exit the room. But she's like, you want a drink? <laughs> okay, like you come good. <laughs> soon. And then that's how the day progressed on. And I was like, <gasps> what a weird day. My goodness, Jeez, a bottle of vodka. Oh my god. The whole bottle, the whole bottle. Jesus. Is she think, also a European performer? You don't have to tell names, but yeah, no names. She's Euro. She's Euro. Yeah, she sounds the Euro. fact that she can drink that much vodka and do all that stuff. Exactly, and you know, I I won't even lie. I took one shot with her as like a celebratory. So, yeah. yeah. So I know what I can do for work based on where I'm at. When I'm at home, I'm very much like these are the rules. Yes. This is when I'm over there, I'm very much like. It's kind of more of a free for all in a way there. So I have to understand my own limits and mm-hmm. boundaries. So usually when I'm out in Europe, depending on who I'm working with, I will do one shot at the beginning of the scene as like a celebratory. I'm here in Europe. Yeah. Like you guys, like, let's have a good work day. Cause I end up working with a lot of the same people when I go there. So, you know, we'll do one little shot of vodka and I'll be like, let's go, you know, woo, like, let's have a good scene. And then that's it. And I don't really consider that under the influence, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. Like, this is going to be a long ass day. I haven't eaten. <clears throat> I just clean. I'm about to do like double anal, you know, <laughs> right, let me get my little blood flowing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. you got like a little buzz for the first hour. Yeah, well, it's not yeah. even a buzz, you know. For me, it's just like that little that little kick he's need. Yeah, that little za. Yeah, yeah. No, I, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh my god, Avery! I swear to God, we thought last week's episode was something we never yeah. heard before, and you just like destroyed last week's episode. Like, oh yeah. Dave and I have been doing this for 198 episodes and there's still things out there for us to talk about and you brought it. Yeah, that's that's Holy amazing. Shit. I'm like I'm so I'm like speechless <laughs> like, in the best possible way. Like I'm like, damn, that's You amazing. thought you were a fan before, Dave. Yeah, nah, now, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and and I worked with Avery. She's the nicest, like a most adorable, gorgeous. Like we had a great working experience, and then went out to dinner with Erica. Yeah, like I just think she's a rad person. So, yeah. I mean, great stories. Jesus, that is <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Sorry. My oh, life God. is like a sitcom at this point. I just have so many little weird happenings that I'm like. This is not a normal person's life. Like these are not. You need to write a book. You do. You need to write a book. I'll read the shit out of that book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yes, bestseller, uh, yeah. New York Times bestseller. <laughs> He's laying in bed like, oh my god, oh my god, amazing, oh my god. <laughs> I can't go to sleep. Yeah. I have to read more. <laughs> I stayed up all night reading this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So well, Avery, we do have to ask the one question that we ask all our guests. What kind of toilet paper do you use and do you put it on the roll over or under? Because we need to know. Ooh, okay. So lately I've been using Angel Soft. Mm. It's like mm. thicker. I like thick toilet paper. It's thick and it's soft, so I only have to use a little bit at a time. If I put it over or under, it depends on if I'm on my period. Oh. Okay, so I explained this one time in an Instagram comment and like everyone thought I was insane, but also like 50% of the population was like, holy shit, you're a genius. Like that makes all the sense in the world. So I'm on to something here, but okay. So on a normal day, it goes over like what people perceive to be the regular way. But when I'm on my period, I like to flip it under because what I do, I have a whole routine of like, getting rid of and wrapping up a tampon so i wrap i put it under because what i do is i pull two pieces off and then i grab the tampon string with those two pieces and i pull it out and then i sit it on the toilet paper oh it's, over, it's gonna fall off and not yes. back but if it's under i sit it there and then wrap and it's like a little hammock exactly so you know people always see that and they're like oh, it's under and i'm like just this week yeah. Just this week. <laughs> During Shark Week, sorry. Exactly. Yeah. But you you know, it's it's functionality. That's so smart. Yeah, I just I've tell my never wife. Never heard that. that. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to try that. These are things I've never thought about, obviously. In a- <laughs> I know David never gets that like toilet paper is used for the front part too. Yeah, I'm like, wait, sometimes. what? I just just forget. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, it- I do use it for my vulva also. I'm like, all oh, right. <laughs> all the time like i'm always like oh yeah right sorry forgot <laughs> the period always throws me off i mean it wasn't until recently we were my wife had her period and she was we were coming i was coming in the bathroom or something and she was pulling it out not to get too graphic or anything but i just oh, never I, this really i know we're sorry. an hour into this know, show with avery and you think that. this is too graphic. well i don't know <laughs> anyway and then i never i've never seen i just never saw anybody like pull one out before it just happened to be walking in and i remember thinking i'm like what is that new I, you know just look i'm a guy i've never had to ever see that go down so it just it just threw me off for a minute i'm like she's like yeah this is what i gotta do with every fucking month i'm like holy shit and i was like i slowly walked back out i'm like all right <laughs> just Oh yeah, you said it was like really dark oh. and you didn't realize it was dark like that. Yeah. I was like, it yeah, just, depending on what it, day of the flow it is. It like fucked me up for a minute. I'm like, what is that? What? <laughs> I have another straight couple friend and the wife has been with the husband for like 20 plus years. And she said just recently he never knew. He just thought the period happened like a faucet and then just stopped one day. And she had to explain how it's like heavy and it gets lighter and it spots. And he didn't even he was like, what? He was so confused. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just I don't know. I, I mean, where it's like, how do girls pee with a tampon in? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> it's just more the mechanics when you see it for the first, you know, you don't ever do that. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, that's, I don't know. It's, it threw me off for a minute. The vulva <laughs> is a very complex place. It is. It can do Christ. a lot of things. <laughs> like a lot of the boys in porn are starting to understand, like, period care now because like during scenes we will usually wear like sponges we'll do like makeup sponges instead you know so okay so when i was a stripper what we do is we put in tampons but we cut the string with scissors you cut your string as a stripper but now with porn it's like tampons are like really long and bulky and kind of hard so we do makeup sponges and now i'm like noticing so many guys that are just becoming really really accustomed to like seeing makeup sponges at this point like i remember one time i was shooting an anal scene and i had a really really big dick so i guess it was like putting pressure and my makeup sponge started to pop out and so you know yeah and so i'm like there on my like back on a chair whatever and he's like oh like i can see your sponge like your sponge is coming out and i was like oh okay like I'll go take it out. And he literally just didn't even like skip a beat, didn't stop. He's still thrusting in me. He just pops out my sponge, tosses it to the side. And keeps going. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the men are progressive now. Like we're no longer scared of periods and now they're helping us with it. Like he was just like, no, you're fine. You just take it oh, out. That's nice. <laughs> His dick is in your ass. That's the least he could fucking do. Yeah. Like also, you're a goddamn gift. I couldn't even imagine. That's the least he could do. Also, let's the, his dick is that big where it's pushing stuff out. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> the vagina didn't have any room. Never in a million years I would have that problem. <laughs> that's crazy. But that's amazing, though. He's just like, yeah, boop, no problem. <laughs> It was, it was so nice. It was so casual. And I'm like hearing more stories about like, you know, when girls get their their sponge stuck in them or like they can't get it out because after a scene, it's like, you know, they've oh, pushed yeah. deeper. That's so, nasty again, in there. At least they can do. A lot of guys are now like helping the girlies dig out the sponges when it's lost because like, you know, they have the long fingers anyway. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it is, it is the least they could do. It's like, Jesus, okay. <laughs> Give you know, help yeah. a girl out here. <laughs> I had, I was shooting a model last week and she said exactly that. One, she has really long acrylic nails, but two, she was like, I, I have such a tight pussy that it gets stuck up in there. And she's like, I've had to call my best gay guy friend to come over and be like, can you just please, I got to get this fucking out of me. It's a scary feeling. It's yeah. It's- it's terrifying. Yeah. Cause you get a toxic shock. If it just stays in too long, you have to get yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely seen that thing where the condom comes off and it's like all the way. Oh my god, it's like all the way up in there. And then like first you're going like, where is it? Where is? Oh my god, where is it? It's oh, it's inside. It's like way, way down. 
tight insides. Like my vagina is really, really tight and shallow. Like not to say like, oh, I'm so tight, sexy, but no, no, I'm like, it's tight and shallow to where now it's annoying for like some people. They're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Like, you know, but. <laughs> Especially when you have male athlete performers who have huge dicks. Yeah, who are yeah. like pushing yeah, shit so, out <laughs> yeah, so they're like i can barely get it in your vagina and i'm like yeah i'm sorry you're literally gonna have to like kind of work it open slowly and you're only gonna get like a few inches in because i'm just shallow but i usually am a condom sucker all the time and it's like deep in there so like now what i have to do is when we're done having sex if there's a condom on before anyone moves i'm literally like reaching in there to hold down the condom and like pull it down to his base and hold it while i like yeah yeah off. yeah wow otherwise yeah it's just coming out yeah, I remember there was one time one guy literally was like, where's the condom? And I was like, where the fuck's the condom? And he was like, I promise. He's like, I didn't, I didn't take it off. Like, he's like, you know, I would never stealth you. Like, I promise. And I'm like about to fucking kill him. And I'm like, wait. And I like go deep diving and I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I swear I did not mean to accuse you of stealthing me. Like, I just didn't realize this was a possibility. Like, it's inside me deep in there. Like, I'm so sorry. And he was actually butthurt. <laughs> really? He actually and his feelings hurt that I would ever consider that he stealth with me. But I was like, well, he didn't get up and walk away. And I didn't. Yeah. That was like the first time it had happened. And that's when I was like, okay, I have to make yeah. notice. Like that's a thing that can happen. You put a yeah, clamp yeah. on the base there. <laughs> Which is, that's scary. Cause you're like, fuck, now I got to get some plan B and shit. Yeah. It was, it was a t- <laughs> <laughs> this is um, so good. It's brilliant. Dave, do you want to go into the game? Yeah, let's go into this game. We like to call shitty choices. Shitty choices. So, I mean, Jesus Christ, there's nothing that's gonna shock you. So, they, <laughs> <laughs> um, like in the best possible way. But like, I had this one I was gonna do last week, but and it's pretty tame compared to everything else we've heard today. But would you rather be allergic to sex or allergic to making out? Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh, okay, wait, wait. I'm allergic to sex. We talk. What do you mean by sex, though? Okay, for this particular Penetrated episode. Right yeah, whatever, whatever, sex? whatever you considered sex. Let's just leave okay. it that. Whatever you, the individual considers sex. I think it's more penetrative, but whatever someone else might think it's different. Okay, you know, I guess I'd rather be allergic to making out as much as it pains me to say that. I love a good make out. Yeah. Ellen? I am the same, and it's sad to say because I am, I, Avery, I am recently single and I am very excited to make out again. What? So, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Every time a girl says that to me, I'm like, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I oh man, I'm with you on that one. I it making out's awesome, but allergic to sex would be like devastating. Cause the making out would make me want to have sex more and I'm like, I can't. I'm gonna break out in hives or whatever. <laughs> 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 so yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go allergic to sex as well. Sorry, I'm making out. Yeah. Damn. That's that oh. is a hard one. But okay. <laughs> so we're we're gonna all be allergic to making out. So sorry, no more kissing. All right, so I'll do a quick little news story and then we'll get you out of here and you can plug away everything that, you know, or where we can find you. So once again, New York Post coming coming in hot. So they talked about this uh, this person that works on a yacht. So all you uh, below deck fans out there, people like those shows. This one woman went on her TikTok and was describing the craziest requests she got on a super yacht. And one of them was some some get some millionaire was going to pay the crew ten thousand dollars to shit on a glass table. <laughs> Which I was like, yeah. Avery's like, I'd do it. I mean, well, I would, for ten grand, ten grand a piece, or does does the crew have to split the ten grand? No, just one crew member. They want oh, one. Crew yeah, one, they, 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 whoever whoever wanted to do it for ten grand. And that, I would die. And this person's only that. this person's only job was the head stewardess, so they just basically had to like 
you know, for like theme parties, they have to like buy stuff to bring on the yacht and like, you know, sort of organize as far as timing and when we're going to pick all this stuff up. And that was the request. She's like, what? <laughs> and it's just like, in the industry, you can never say no. Because, you know, <gasps> when you're that rich. It's like um, Triangle of Sadness. Yeah. But yeah. as long as you can, you can say no, unless it's like something sexual or threatens the health or life of the crew. But I'm sure there's some gray areas I mean, this in is there. Borderline. This is borderline. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, someone wanted to do that. And that was like one of the craziest things. So she had just started be working on this yacht. She's like, oh, this is like going to be so fun. That was like the first request she got. <laughs> Also, well, imagine, so and you people have the weirder shit they're into. Yeah, though. man, it's just so crazy because you always think yeah. you see those yachts you're like, ooh, it's so luxe, it's so fun, and so it has a certain kind of lifestyle. And someone's like, oh, actually, you know, as an assistant, there's no way that person like that wanted to see that called up. It's my assistant's gonna call for some specific requests. <laughs> I'm actually like, for a yacht, I would say you need more like twenty five thousand. Like somebody who's oh. on a yacht. Twenty five grand, I'd be like. You could up the ante a little bit. Yeah, I'd be like ten thousand. No, I'm gonna shit on a glass table for twenty five. Now does that number go up depending on how bigger the boat is? (laughs) You're like, like, okay, we're on a somewhat mini yacht. I'm like, this person maybe only got about like you know can go fifteen twenty. Oh my God. But the longer the boat, I'm like, dude, you could ante up a hundred. It's easy. And was the I, I'm dying to know. Did the guy lay underneath the glass table to watch said shit fall? She didn't you know? say any of that. She didn't. She didn't get into all that. I guess because I probably she didn't want it to get back. But she did. So that was that was the that was the request. I'm sure that was you know <laughs> implied. <laughs> but yeah, that was the thing. And I was like, that's crazy. Because also, it's like. That'd be so funny to like. So we have one kind of unique request, uh, <laughs> aside from the wine and the food and uh, you know <laughs> entertainment. We need a glass table. Doesn't really matter which kind. <laughs> and my boss, <laughs> or maybe my bosses. I don't even know. But I was like, that is crazy. So brilliant. Yeah, rich people. I guess if you're that bored, you're like, all right, let's, what haven't I done today? <laughs> <laughs> Avery, have you seen Triangle of Sadness, the movie? No. Oh, oh my great. God! Watch it. It's, it's, it's so disturbing and so fabulous. Yeah, it was like Oscar nominated this past. It's like a definite, like sort of like statement on like mega rich and then people that like in the service industry and then how these things like just how these roles kind of like play out in different scenarios. I don't want to give away the movie, so actually I'm just kind of being vague about I'm it. But it out. It's good. Yeah, it's it's really good. I didn't think I'd like it, and I I was we were like, holy shit, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> this reminds me of the time I was talking to a rich guy, and he was like talking about like poop and scat content. He was just like, yeah, he was like, it's not my thing at all. Like I'm not into that at all. But like you know, I get for like the guys that are into it. You know, like. They're very, very specific because like, you know, they don't want liquid shit. It needs to be like, you know, really, really nice, like thick, like a nice long log. <laughs> and right. are going into extreme detail. And by the end of, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, because you want it to almost look like it's like a dildo, but of shit, like going in and out the butthole because you want it nice and tight. <laughs> oh, but I'm not into this. And I'm just like, yeah, yes, you are. You seem to know a lot yes, about it. You are. He's wondering if it just comes out a certain way. I'm not into that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, if I. (laughs) Yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah. 100% you are. Oh, my God. Well, that wacky story. Avery Jane, thank you so much for being on our show. You were wonderful, hilarious. Loved all the stories. You're the best. The best. The best. Oh, oh my god, god. the next time i'm pleasure. in la I, we have to hang out yes please hit me up let me know when you're coming yes and if you're ever in new york please call yeah and please let our audience know where they can find you out there in the world well you guys i am all over the internet so you can find me on Pornhub. i have my only fans you can find me on instagram avery jane official you can find me on twitter right now i deactivated my twitter because i need a break from it but when i eventually have to reactivate it at some point for work purposes it's <laughs> avery jane xo <laughs> follow me on twitter when it's back <laughs> By the time this releases, it'll probably be back. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Well, do that, everybody. Go follow her. She's amazing. You'll love it. 
And uh, thanks for laughing and learning everything but with us. And happy pooping, everybody. And enjoy your butthole. For more info, go to heypoopypodcast.com or email us at heypoopypodcast at gmail.com. You can send in show ideas, guest requests. Check us out on Twitter at heypoopy, Instagram at heypoopypodcast, TikTok, heypoopypodcast, and our awesome new Facebook fan page. Go check it out at heypoopypodcast. We're also on Discord at heypoopydumps, or you can contact us at our new awesome hotline. 203-998-5579. Hey Poopy Podcast is brought to you by Perfect for Entertainment. Produced by Dave and Ellen. Edited by Dave. Executive producer Stormy Leather. Theme song by Jordan Pearlson. Hey Poopy!